Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I'm back with a new tutorial for OpenOffice. Today we're going to be covering the gallery, which I remember having used in the past a lot uh, for different documents, but recently it actually kind of faded from my mind how useful it is and how you can just drag and basically just drop in images of many different kinds that are preloaded into OpenOffice right into your document to make it look a lot better. So to get to the gallery, uh, the simplest way is just to find this, uh, this toolbar at the top, go over to where you see the image of a picture being hanged uh, inside of a frame on the wall, click it, and it's going to open your gallery. Uh, you're going to have a bunch of different sections here, symbols, sounds, school, and university, and each of these little sections all have different uh, little icon-based images. Nothing fancy, not like uh, professional 3D art um, that you would, might commission someone to make for you, but definitely little symbols that are recognizable and you can basically put in anything. They're generic, but they're very helpful. They could be nice to have. And uh, you just drag them into your document. Of course, you can resize them by going to these corners. Then you can type in your text like world report. <laughs> yes, we're going to do a report on the world. Let's see, bold it, maximize it, center it. And then right below that, Bam, we have an image. Now, uh, that's not the best front cover of all time for your book report or um, if you're working for the CIA fact book, I don't know. Uh, but it's definitely an easy way you can find accessible images inside of OpenOffice. And Microsoft Word has a very similar feature, but of course, you use OpenOffice because it's free and it works with all of these different kinds of uh, document types. I don't know if... Um, Microsoft Word can actually open a .odt file, which is a open office document, by the way. Uh, but open office can definitely open both of them. Anyway, uh, aside from that, you can also put in your own images. If you have some lying around your computer, you can drag them into these folders you create by hitting the new theme button. So you just hit that, name it, whatever, and you'd get one of these green folders to put them in. And from there, you drag in your image. Uh, I have a little icon here. Uh, I made this for a role-playing game, but you can put those in the same way, just as simple. And that's pretty much all there is to galleries. It's very helpful to have all of those images accessible to you, especially if you're trying to put together something that needs to look a little bit nicer than just text on a screen. Uh, so I hope you guys will find this useful. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, let me know. Until then, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.